What's good Transforming Trixies? How y'all doing? My name is Teja Avani and today we have a very, 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 very extra special video. It took forever for me to bring this video to y'all from conception into creation. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoy it and also this new setup. Uh, but yeah, so they will be making the historically accurate, at least in the look, Playboy Bunny suit costume. Yes, this took a very long time for me to make. If y'all were on Patreon, y'all know the struggles and the process I went through pattern grading, I mean pattern drafting this costume and trying to get it right and the silhouette very, very accurate to the actual Playboy bunny suits and not like the cheap little knockoffs <laughs> that, that are running around the interwebs. Oh my God, what is that? Yeah. Oh my God, what is so uh, I just wanted to bring this to y'all because I know this is a super popular costume for Halloween. It's a really, really, really fun costume. I had a lot of fun doing it. And of course, all the materials and everything that you need for this DIY will be linked down below. Materials, patterns, tips, washing instructions now. Um, just any and all things you need will be listed down below. Uh, this video is pretty long because I really wanted to explain everything. Anyway, if you'd like to know how to make and create your own Playboy bunny suit that is accurate to the actual Playboy bunny suits that existed, uh, then please keep on watching to the end of this video. So this is a pattern that I'll be using for this DIY. I self-drafted it. There should be a pattern drafting tutorial somewhere on my channel, but it's definitely coming after this video. <laughs> However, if you don't want to wait for the pattern drafting video or you just don't want to go through that pain and torture, I have the pattern available in multiple sizes on my Etsy shop and of course available on my Patreon as well. So y'all can go and just grab it up that way. So I'm gonna cut this pattern out of the um, structure layer and the lining layer and I'm cutting the slightly bigger pattern, which is this one that I'm showing right now, out of the um, fashion fabric layer, which is the satin. And then here I tried to cut the pattern out traditionally and I was like, uh-uh, it ain't working. So now I trace my pattern pieces onto the canvas fabric and then cut them out and making sure that I'm cutting all the notches and all of the little indications on the pattern and repeating that for every single piece for all three layers of fabric. Okay, so these are three different sets of pattern pieces that we have, and you should have two of each pattern piece in each of the fabrics. So we have the satin cut out, the canvas layer cut out, and the lining, I think it's like polyester, really cheap lining cut out. So now we're gonna pin all of the pattern pieces together for all three of these different fabrics and just sew them together so we pretty much have like three different um, playboy bunny suits and then we'll merge them all into one playboy bunny suit so i'll give you guys like a detailed instruction of how to pin it because i think that's really the most important um because sewing it is really really easy so um i will show y'all on the canvas fabric because that is the most important one because it's the strength layer that will hold all the boning so i'll show y'all how to do that it'll probably take a while so if you want to skip forward if you know how to pin things especially if you worked with corsets before then you can skip forward into the sewing process okay so first i'm just gonna undo um all the pats and pieces so i can't remember shit i can't remember shit All right, so that should be all of the pieces that we have. Um, you should have eight pieces in total for one layer of the Playboy bunny suit. I'm gonna pin each side first, so the left and right side together first, and then I'll join them in the center front afterwards. So I'm gonna do one pe pattern piece one to pattern piece two. I like to join them at the um, waist first. So we look at the waist notches that we did and you can refer back to your pattern to see which one is which but it's usually the last notch that we have first flip pattern piece two over pattern piece one right sides together and pretty much line up the notches here at the waist especially for the waist reduction version of this um, playboy bunny suit the waist is the most important so i like to put a pin at the waist notch and then of pattern piece two and then through pattern piece one and literally just pin them together like that 
pretty much. And then so as you're pinning, the underbust notches should line up and the bust notches should line up. If they're slightly off, it's okay because it might just be the way that the fabric shifted as you moved, the uh, or as the fabric moved as you were cutting it. Um, so it doesn't have to be exact exact, but the waist um, notches are literally the most important. So I'm going to then pin the rest. So I'd like to pin out the other notches first. So luckily like the underbust notches like literally lie on right uh, right on top of each other. So I'm going to pin there and the bust notches. I'm going to pin right there. And then I go, I just continue to go up aligning the raw edges together. But I do recommend because of um, some issues with things lining up properly, better to cut each pattern piece um, separately uh, instead of like folding the fabric and cutting two at one time. But anyway, so then after I pin those together, I kind of fold these out so the right sides are showing and then I take the next pattern piece, pattern piece number three, flip it over right sides together and literally repeat the same process. All right, and we pin that. So we do the same thing for the last pattern piece. Boom. Ta-da! Um, that's one half of the Playboy Bunny suit. So I'm going to pin the same way on the other side and then take this to the sewing machine and sew all of the side seams at a half an inch. So I pinned the second half and I just want to show y'all because I forgot literally just that quick. Uh, there are notches between pattern pieces two and three. They're the little triangle notch joints. So I have to unpin um, and stop my pins right before that triangle notch joint because that's where we will stop sewing. So we'll sew all the way down the seam until we reach the notch. Um, and then we'll do the same thing for the lining and also the outside layer as well. I sewed all the pieces together for um, the strength layer. I also did the other two layers off camera because it's literally the same process. So now we're just going to pin these together um, and sew them so that it's just one whole piece. So I'm just going to place them right sides together. Also clip some like the some of the threads as you're doing it. And I'm going to align raw edges together. So I'm going to pin at the waist. And then I have a notch up here or I'm supposed to have a notch up here that um, shows me where to stop pinning as well. So I'm going to do a horizontal pin right here. And then I'm just going to continue to pin all the way down the center front of this Playboy bunny suit. All right, and now I'm gonna take that to the sewing machine. Okay, so this is the suit so far. It looks really good. And this is the structure layer, of course. Um, so what we're going to do now is kind of like finish it up a little bit because we have a lot of stuff to do to it and we want to make sure that it's not super bulky. First what I'm going to do just so that we have record of it is mark the underbust where the underbust points are on um, the kind of first pattern piece and second pattern, pattern piece. So um, the underbust notch is literally the second notch from the top. It always will be. And so I'm just going to mark it here. So now I'm just going to go to every seam and cut off half of the seam allowance. So cut it down to one quarter of an inch. This is going to reduce bulk and just make it a little bit easier to wear. All right, and just be careful not to cut off anything important as you're doing this as well. And then we'll be running a zigzag stitch along, along the seam allowance and pressing the seam allowance to the back um, once everything is said and done. So this is what the structure layer looks like after we've done all of the accoutrements. This is the front side and it looks really, really, really good. And then this is the back 
and it looks pretty good. So what I'm just gonna do now real quick is just level out certain areas that are just uneven. And this is just due to me just not cutting um, precisely enough with the pattern. So I just have to do some fixing. And you'll do this for all three shells as well, or all three layers, just to make sure that everything is just doing what it's supposed to do. And try to cut as little as possible. So you see kind of like here, how the butt part isn't matching. So instead of cutting all this off, I'm just going to angle it down this way. So it cuts as least amount as possible. And you just kind of round it out a little bit, right? All right, cool. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, everything else matches up. All right, so now we're just gonna add well, the actual structure to this structure layer. So I'm gonna flip this over again so we see this side. We are first going to work on the boning channel. So I have my cotton twill tape and this was actually used as the boning channels in the original Playboy bunny suit. So I am going to take my boning guide because I kind of like created one based off of the research I did for this Playboy bunny suit and I'm just going to follow the boning guide and place my cotton twill where the boning usually lays. Also, um, side tip, if you want some extra security with the seams, you could top stitch right next to the seams as well. Okay, so the first boning channel is of course in the center. So I'm going to go literally to the tippy top and place a pin to pin the cotton twill on. Then you want the bony channel to end seven inches up from the crotch. So that's about like right here. Cause you don't want it too long uh, because then the bony will try to start to stick out. Yeah, you might have to like iron the seam allowances down and everything. You know what, I think I'm going to um, place another stitch along the side seams, like right here to really secure the seam. So I'm gonna go and do that really quick. And then I will show you how to put the rest of the cotton twill boning in because it will help to secure these seams down a lot more. Okay, so I finished sewing or, or top stitching all of the side seams. So now uh, we are going to do the boning channels for this garment. All right, and then I'm going to flip it. And the reason why we do it uh, seven inches above the crotch instead of all the way down because number one no one wants a bone to go all the way down your crotch like that's super uncomfortable um, also it um, affects the fit of the garment that you just really want to bone the bodice of it you don't really want to go that much lower um, so yeah so that's the first bone it's super duper easy so the second bone comes from the under bust of each bra cup so I'm going to place it here because that's why we marked the underbust is to make it easier for um, placing the bra wire and bra cup. So I'm going to place it right, right underneath the mark so that I also still can see where the underbust is. And then it ends about two inches above the center front. Pretty much it can change depending on your size and uh, because the proportions may be different. So uh, just check and kind of view the diagram and see what mimics the actual boning channels the best for your Playboy bunny suit. And so this one has a little bit of a curve as well. So it's going to kind of go in like this. Again, following the contours of your body. And we'll do this for either side of the suit as well. And then lastly for the front, we come from the outside of the bra cup and then kind of make our way in. And that's about another like two inches above the, uh, uh, two inches above the bottom of this bony channel. So I'm gonna start and kind of like your um, Playboy bunny suit is gonna make a shape for the cups relatively. So it's gonna make a shape for the cups as well. So you'll kind of, we'll see where the um, boning should end. For me, it'll probably be from out here. And it doesn't have to be 100% exact, just enough to just provide a little bit more structure for the garment. All right, then now we're moving on to the back. It's just a couple of straight bones. Cause there's like one about a 
half inch away from where the zipper should be. So I'm just gonna put it right next to the seam right here. Pretty much about like 12 inches. Probably should have took into account that this will be seam allowance. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut like about a quarter inch off of these because that will just be seam allowance anyway. Uh, because I'm that's how I'm gonna line it. So anyway, I'm gonna start this um, a quarter inch below <laughs> the top of the garment because I totally forgot to account for seam allowance. So I'm gonna start it right here and then it's about 12 inches long. So like right here it stops. Yeah, so I'm just playing to follow that seam. Um, nothing too super direct uh, because I just want to make sure that I clear the um, zipper part because it's a pretty like big seam allowance. It's about like a half inch seam allowance for the zipper. So I just want to make sure that the boning doesn't get caught up in that. And then last but not least, in between that, it's just another boning channel. I'll put it like in the middle and then just make it the same length. All right, and that's pretty much it. So you do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so I put in all of my boning channels and I just wanna go over how to do the waist tape so I can explain it clearly and properly, unlike me multitasking, okay? So what you're pretty much doing is taking your cotton twill tape that you use for your boning channels and pinning it along where the waist notches are or the waistline is. And as you're pinning it, you wanna pull it slightly taut uh, you don't want it too loose or too, too tight because that will make the waist inaccurate, but just enough that is an accurate kind of length of your waist in a certain point. Um, and you're just pinning along the waist notches um, until you get to the end and then you just cut it off just to stabilize the waist of it. Um, and then after we do that, we'll sew the boning channels in. And um, as you're sewing the boning channels, the waist tape will be sewn on as well and secured on as well. After we do the other side, I'm going to sew it down in like a open square formation. Just leave this space open. Leave it open, okay? Do not sew the whole thing in a square because you close the boning channel. Also make sure that the bones, when you sew it, will be able to fit, or the channels will be able to fit the bones that you're using. If you wanna mark it with pencil where you should sew, then go ahead, I'm going to sew about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch into each side of the channel. And that's pretty much good enough for it to fit this snugly. You don't want it to be too big um, because then the bones will start to like twirl around in the boning channel. I finished all the boning channels for the Playboy bunny suit. And this is what the inside looks like, so you can see. So we'll put bones in it later, but I first want to do the bra cups first because it'll make it easier. So these are the bra cups that I'll be using. They're like these push-up bra cups, even though it's not like a ton of push-up, I wish it was a little bit more. Um, but when I did my research with the Playboy bunny suits, they said that the, the actual Playboy bunnies waitresses they had to stuff their suits anyway so um we'll just go with these for now so what we're going to do is kind of make sure our suit is pointing out as much as possible and creating the mold of the uh, cups in a way of like wanting to stick out boom but what i'm going to do is take one of these cups um this is more the outer area and this is more the inner area because usually the outer area it has less of a curve than the inner area so I know when I flip this over it should fit in here oh it kind of fit, fits pretty good as is but what I usually like to do is take the cup and kind of mark where the apex would be which would probably be like right here or actually let me put it through the other side like right there like right in the middle that's, I just put a pin through from the back side in order to do that. Then I'm going to line it up with the apex of the actual suit as best as possible and like put it through. All right, so like that. Pretty much I put it through 
so that the apexes line up with each other. I'm gonna go get my clip so I can clip it in place. Um, I'm taking everything out because I realized that I have to cut this flat edge of the molded cup off because it'll just make it easier to sew the underwire wire channeling. So just cleanly in that kind of little indented edge thingy, just put that right in there. Okay, just like that. So it makes it easier. Just keep kind of positioning the bra cup until you get it right. Because it is a very important part of the um, suit all together. So that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like once you're done pinning it all. And so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And then we'll just hand tack the foam cups down into the um, bra cup situation. Um, and then move on to the next step. And the apex of the Playboy Bunny suit is pretty easy to find only because it has that little kind of like poking type of bullet bra effect. Let me see. There we go. You can kind of see it. Not like a lot, but it kind of has like a bullet bra effect already. So it's very easy to point out where the apex is supposed to go. I'm now going to hand tack them down with just a needle and thread. Um, and just sew them down at the important points um, of, you know, where it needs to attach to the suit. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. So this is, these are the places I'll actually be sewing is of course at the apex um, on the top edge, top middle right here and the two sides. Anyway, I finished hand sewing the bra cups to the inside of the Playboy suit or at least the structure version. So, so now what I'm going to do is move on to the bra channeling. So this is the bra channeling. I'm going to bra uh, sew on the bra channeling pretty much right underneath the cup, like that. Slightly overlap it with the bra cup so that it also sews the bra cup down. So yeah, I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna pin the whole thing down. I'm just gonna kind of guide the bra channeling as I go along. Um, it's gonna be hard on the sewing machine because it's a lot of foam. If you don't wanna do that, you could just put it right underneath the bra cup and um, just make sure you just sew the bra cup as well or hand stitch it or whatever you need to do or sew this bra cup down because it just will just stick out and that's just it's annoying to me <laughs> it's just really annoying to me okay so I sewed the bra cups in and I had to sew twice I had to sew the actual bottoms of the bra cups down because I didn't catch it with the bra why uh bra channeling bra wire channeling it kind of sucked but <laughs> It, it's whatever. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is take my bra wire and fish it into the channeling. So what I did with the channeling, which I forgot to tell y'all, is that I sewed it closed, just horizontally across. Sewed it closed so that when you put it in, it just doesn't just zoop right out. So the more shorter curve is the one that goes on the inside and the longer curve wider cur curve goes on the outside so that's what i'm just going to do it's just fish this bra wire in the bra channeling and see that bra wire just adds that extra just um support that you need for this type of garment um it really makes that much of a difference if you can get the extra long bra wire it would be better next like i said we'll be doing the boning so let me zoom out i know it's not a pretty sight to see i'm sorry y'all <laughs> it's not cute if you watch any other corset video you know like this is super self-explanatory but if you have not I will explain it very quickly but what I'm just going to do I have my synthetic plastic boning it's fine um it works is that I'm just going to measure my um bone out literally cut it uh about like maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch higher oh my god oops yeah, this is a sucky. Uh, <laughs> that scissor sucked, but oh my god. Anyway, then next I'm going to clip the edges 
just to make it less pointy and I had to do it on this one because it literally cut horribly. Um, but you clip the edges so that it doesn't want to poke through the fabrics and all that stuff. Anyway, and then you put your bones in. Now with this boning, any boning that kind of curves because it's been put in a like circle shape, you know, rolled up, is that I like to put it in this way so that it's like curving outwards because you want that shape for your actual garment. So then you just slip it in to the boning channel. And then that's it. And then you just repeat that for the rest of the boning channels until it's fully boned. Um, and then we will sew at the bottom of the boning channels to close them like we did for the um, bra wire channels. So I put all the bones in the Playboy bunny suit and now what I'm just going to do is just do a little tack down at the bottom, the open bottom of the boning channels just to close them so that's it. They can't slide out or anything like that. And then next we will be adding the lining to the um, structure layer. This is what the structure layer of the Playboy bunny suit looks like. So now what we're going to do is merge the structure layer and the lining layer together. So this is what the lining layer looks like. You know, it's just pretty much a black version. What I'm going to do is take my structure layer and have it face up and then take my lining layer and have it face down so that right sides are kissing. And I'm going to hopefully align the seams together and all that stuff and pin the top of the um, Playboy bunny suit together. So I literally wasn't even recording. I knew something was off, uh, which freaking sucks. So anyway, y'all, how I was pinning the lining to the structure layer is that of course I did right sides together and I'm aligning the seams to each other so they all match up. Um, so I did the center front seam first, which is the most important seam and put a pin there. So then I continued to pin across the top until I got to the next seam, line those up, the structure layer seam and the um, lining seam of the same like center cup faux princess seam and put a pin there. I'm continuing to pin um, across the top as well. This part isn't lining up as perfectly and it's literally based off of how you cut the fabric and how um, you sewed it together because I know I did kind of slightly bigger seams on the lining because I was just rushing. So I know it's not gonna be like impeccable. I pinned the top of the first half together and so I'll do the same thing to the other side and then sew at a quarter inch. So what we're gonna do now is just flip it over. Pretty much at the top, what I'm probably going to do what I'm going to do is just fold the seam allowance back and just pin it and then I'll just um, iron it. So I'm going to do that real quick first because it's going to bother me. And so I do it and I can't pin it so I'm just going to use clips. So like we did for the um, front or at least when it was right sides together, we're going to do for the back. We're going to line up the seam allowances the same way and kind of just align them. So I'm just pinning along the hem. And I'm just pinning except for the back because the back will be the zipper. So the original Playboy bunny suit actually wasn't lined um, at all. <laughs> uh, but they use a different fabric than canvas in order to, you know, make it. But uh, for me, I like to be comfortable, believe it or not. So every so often, I prioritize my comfortability, especially with something like this. Um, I think it just looks better lined as well. All right, so with this new development, what I'm going to do is, um, if you want to even sew it down, you can, but I'm just going to try to iron it, I think. Regardless of that, what I'm just going to do now is just top 
not top stitch, kind of top stitch, but just stitch at a quarter of an inch all around the hem line, except for the center back sides. And then I'm gonna fold it up a quarter of an inch and then sew it down again. But I'm just doing this preliminary sewing just so it's easier to manage because it is two layers. And then this like polyester likes to just shift on you. Like it's really annoying. Okay, so we got more stuff to do. I totally forgot. Well, kind of. Uh, interfacing, cutting this out for the satin layer. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. If y'all wanna refer to my Cardi B Up video, um, that's when I like really go over, not really, it's like super simple, but that's when I go over the actual um, process of um, cutting interfacing and all that stuff. And then I flip it so that it's just mirrored because we have two mirrored pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just can be like a basic outline. Okay, so I laid all of my satin pieces out. Um, and so now I'm just gonna like methodically like iron them because they're a little, little bit wrinkly and then iron the interfacing on top and then I'll be able to sew them like I did the strength layer and the lining layer. Okay, so I interfaced all of these satin pieces and ironed them really well. Um, so now I'm going to pin them all together like I did the um, structure layer and I will sew them like I sew everything else. Okay, so now we're moving on to adding the shell layer right here onto the structure and lining layer. So now that I leveled everything, what I'm going to do now is flip this over and then I am going to fold down the tippy tops and tippy, not tippy tops, but the top of the shell and the bottom of the shell a quarter of an inch. All right, and then we'll iron it down. Okay, I ironed um, the top and bottom together, but what I'm going to do now is just take out all the pins and then I'm going to place my structure layer on top of this shell layer. And what I'm going to do is align the um, center fronts together since that's the most important. Uh, and then I gotta check to see if it's about three quarters below. So that's about an inch, so I gotta move it like up here. All right, and then pin together. Right. And then just align and kind of maneuver the rest of the shell to make sure that everything is properly um, aligned. I'm just finagling it until I can position it correctly because right now it's not looking as hot as I want it to be. All right, so I'm just gonna do the best as I can. I just don't know why the bottom is so much like more because it's literally supposed to be an inch more at the top and an inch more at the bottom. Um, and then since we fold it back a quarter inch, it should literally be three quarters of an inch distance. But that's only for the top that makes sense. The bottom does not. So, so I'm just folding the satin back um, over the structure layer and pinning it in place. Um, if you want to use clips, I think that's just a better option for, for your thumbs. And so like as you're folding the edge back of the black satin layer, um, it should pretty much look like a finished edge for the most part you know like we have a little bit of canvas fraying but that should be 
covered or cut off as we're like actually sewing the thing together and just finagle it as best as possible because I just want this project to be done <laughs> because um things this is my first time actually constructing it like with the shell and everything like that I've only done the structure layer um so I haven't done it like with the lining and with the satin layer so um this just is a lot of figuring out for me um bear with me y'all this is the home stretch I promise after we do this part the playboy bunny suit is damn near done and really take your time just like doing it and perfecting it as best as possible because um this will be uh hand sewn down so you can really like just take your time and make sure that it looks the way you want it to look so like down here that's literally what it's supposed to look like it's just like a lot of leftover seam allowance um and then you just fold it over because that's very very um accurate to the original so i got like this bottom quarter done <laughs> so i'm just going to continue the process of just kind of pinning things in place i don't know but it looks great it looks great be careful but it looks pretty good okay so i pinned the top and bottom together and uh, i also ironed the fold as well because um it'll just help the sewing process easier so now we're going to be doing a mixture of like a catch stitch and a, and a slip stitch and just regular hand <laughs> kind of like um traditional hand sewing in order for it to be invisible from the outside um so we're going to be mostly sewing on the lining and that's what the lining is pretty good for so let me go and get my um sewing stuff and i'll be right back so since everything is all black <laughs> i realized to, to teach you guys um the catch stitch or the slip stitch would be like counterintuitive so i'm just gonna put in a clip of me doing it and explaining it and i'll be doing that of course along this edge and the bottom edge of the suit um, until the whole, you know, folded over area is tacked down. All right, so I completely hand sewed everything down with the catch stitch if it wants to focus. There we go. Pretty much everything down. It took about like an hour and a half to do, not anything too, too crazy. So now what we have to do is focus on the center back and, um, sewing that up and putting the zipper in so the center back over here is actually pretty good because i want to follow um the satin and how long the satin is because it's a little bit uneven from one side to the other side unfortunately but it is what it is now what i'm going to do after i pinned everything is that i'm just going to cut off like just the extra um canvas fabric and anything else that kind of sticks out because we all want it to be just one raw seam so any like threads that might be or fraying that might be going on cutting that off so then i'm going to run a zigzag stitch along this edge just to finish it off so it's not running too rampant so i kind of had to do the zigzag stitch kind of right next to the raw edge because my machine wasn't having like doing the raw edge it was just like mm, no that's too much work so now what we're going to do is put the center back seams together so it can be just one center back seam all right and then <laughs> oh this is a lot line up the center back seams and pin them together and then we'll sew at a half an inch i'm gonna like just kind of pin the tops first because we want that to line up more all right and then go to the bottom and go to the bottom up because we have to do the zipper for the rest of the way so if you can see the notch so there's a notch like right here um that should be on your lining that's when you're gonna stop sewing anyway i'm going to put a pin right here so i know where to stop sewing so i'm just gonna sew from the bottom up to where the notch is uh would add a half a, a half an inch uh with a straight stitch 
All right, y'all. So I sewed the center back up together. You can't really tell because I have everything pinned. So let me unpin it real quick. But we are almost done with this whole project. The light is at the end of the tunnel. So the last, well, second to last thing we have to do for the construction of it is um, align the crotches together. Pin it. Wow, I can't even pin it. So get a clip instead. I'll be right back. Um, clip it together and then sew at a quarter inch. Okay, so now that everything is pretty much sewn together, the last thing that we have to do is add in the zipper. So I'm using the 16 inch long zipper um that is a metal zipper with metal teeth because um the playboy bunny suit that i'm doing has waist reduction waist cinching in it so a metal zipper will be an easier option to use so what i'm just gonna do is unzip it like i did in the brats tracksuit video um is that you need the teeth to point outwards in order to make sure that it's going in the right direction but i think what i'm going to do because this is a tad bit bigger than what I needed it to be. So I'm going to pretty much line it up at the zipper teeth, like the little zipper stop that's at the top. I'm going to line it up to the top of the um, Playboy bunny suit and then pin it and just continue to pin all the way down. I also think it would be a great idea to cover this center back seam and like um ribbon as well i think that would just look better than the zigzag stitch all right and so i'm going to sew all the way down um until i reach where this middle seam starts to form or starts to you know when it starts um and i will sew with a zipper foot all right so i sewed the first half on as you see once you um iron it is gonna look like this it looks really 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 good that's why i like using like just traditional zippers invisible zip zippers are nice for the effect of invisibility <laughs> but um like metal zippers and just zippers that are just not supposed to be invisible i think just always look better or i just sew them better so that's why it looks better um but anyway so we're just going to do the same thing on the other side i'm just going to twist the zipper so it literally does the same thing and these zippers are actually zippers that they used in the, like, I believe the original Playboy bunny suit. And then they eventually decided to hide the zippers, I think, a little bit later. If you need to baste your zippers before putting them on, I also recommend that. Especially if you're new to zippers in general. Because basting would be good if you wanted to check to see if your zippers were even. Please splurge on a zipper. You know, if you gotta pay five ten dollars for a zipper um do so because it is worth it uh because this zipper is not that great um at all and then here i'm just showing y'all real quick that i also like catch stitch the um zipper down to the lining as well just to like ensure that it's not trying to flip outwards just to make sure it's just easier to zip everything up and down blah 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 uh anyway now here we go with the finished garment This is what the Playboy bunny suit looks like. It looks freaking amazing. It looks gorgeous. I love the way I looked at it. Of course, I don't look as good in the video as I did like in person. In person, this freaking costume is insane. Like y'all, you would be the best looking person at the costume party if you made this and all the accessories and all that stuff. And then what's great about the Playboy Bunny costumes is that you can make them in all these different colors too. It doesn't have to be black. Um, they literally did all the colors underneath the sun and even prints as well. So you can make it in whatever flavor you want uh, and look freaking bomb AF. 
So that is pretty much it for how to make the costume. Um, as always, the Patreon will be linked down below so you get all of the patterns that I have launched so far. Um, and also like extra tips and then you can you will get like, you know, questions answered even quickly more quicker than here because it, it's a lot to manage. Um, but you get your questions answered quicker, you get video tutorials if you need some, um, all the patterns and pattern drafting tutorials, all that stuff that you need in order to actually complete this Playboy bunny suit and do it correctly will be on my Patreon and you know I can help you out, I can hold your hand. And also of course if that's not your flavor, it's, it's, it's okay, it's fine. I'm not taking it personal, but if it's not your flavor, then um, I have my Etsy shop linked down below that the pattern is also available at. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I would, like I said, I'll be making another video tutorial of this DIY that's quicker for people who watch this video, um, but maybe need to refer back to the video, but not want to go through like the whole, what? 30, 40, 50 minute video. I don't know how long it is by now. I'm still trying to edit it down as I'm speaking, but um, but you don't want to refer to that long video. I'll have a quicker video. Or for people who are advanced sewers that sewn corsets before or sewn garments that are structured before, then um, they can refer back to that quicker video. So that will be coming out soon as well. Um, lots of Halloween costumes I wanted to do this year that because this video took so long that um I couldn't get to I couldn't get to them I couldn't get to them <laughs> like at all and so that is the problem um so y'all will be seeing some Halloween costumes that will now become cosplays <laughs> um coming up really soon as well because this video was a monster and it took forever to do and to accomplish so anyway that's pretty much it please subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this um lots of good things are coming down the pipeline pipeline lots of bangers coming um so that will be fun as always oh and if you know anybody who would like to make their own playboy bunny suit please share share to your social media share to your facebook's and instagram's and twitter's and tiktok's and all that stuff and also if you recreate it please tag me at tz season on instagram so anyway, uh, as always, lovelies, please love yourself, and I will see you next video. Mwah!